Sagittarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is Born Without Boundaries. For those of you who have just arrived or found my channel, I'm Michelle. Welcome. Please do click subscribe, help the channel grow, and click that bell so you know when I go live and when I upload all that juicy content. Sagittarius, we're going to get into your two-part reading. The first is over here on YouTube. It's a full oracle card spread. And then there's an extended video. The link is below with a full tarot card spread and romance reading. If you guys are on platforms that allow for commercial interruptions, expect one in a couple of seconds so that the message will not be interrupted from here on out. I really appreciate your patience and whether you know it or not, it's actually a contribution to the channel. So I'm really grateful for your donation while you just watch a, watch a commercial. I'll be back in about 30 seconds. Now, you either sat through an awkward pause or a commercial. Either way, I am extremely grateful. This is the energy for Sagittarius from November 8th through the 15th of 2019 for Sun, Moon, and Rising Sagittarius or any placement in your natal chart that Sagittarius has influence over. You can take these energies for this week and you can put them right into that house and see how things are going to go for you. There are a few cards just flung out. Hold on. It seems to me, Sagittarius, that um, you got a false, um, the crowning energy for this reading is skunk spirit and white raven spirit, spirit, but it's in reverse. So it seems to me like there is a stinker in your midst or you got a false start. There seemed to be like there was something new or something good happening and it wasn't as beautiful as it tried to make itself be. See, a little skunk, he tries to cover his stink up in flowers. And that tells me, so that's, that's one mentality, but it's very intentional. But with this upside down, it seems to be like something that you thought was going to get to a new start, something that you thought was going to take off and go well, ended up kind of flipping and reversing on you and not going as well as you wanted it to. This could be something that you're working on at work. This could be your job search. This could be a relationship. It could be anything. This is the energy surrounding you this week. It's almost a, maybe not a disappointment as much as you, you're irritated or angry that something that really meant something to you ended up being something that was just disguised. It could have been that whatever, whoever else was involved wanted to intentionally make you feel better to calm you down and make you think that things were better because they didn't want to upset you, they didn't want to worry you or anything like that. But this is definitely this mentality, this, this uh, feeling of something going awry that you thought would work out or something disappointing you because it was sort of presented to you much better. Yeah, co-create with spirit is also reversed. So this was definitely a, a, an intentional deception, if not an intentional self-deception, where you thought that something was, was going to take off um, that didn't. Uh, with everything in reverse, it's really interesting because Jupiter is back going direct in its home sign. So this should be a very, very um, beautiful week for you. But there does seem to be a little bit of residual energy left over of falsehood happening. Like I said, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is actually something that was malicious, though I'm sure that it could be. But Sagittarius, I do get this feeling like you had high hopes for something. And this week, there's a, there's, there's a setback. There's a setback for what you were hoping for. Um, it seems like where spirit wants to point you is in the opposite direction that you wanted to go. So it's not like spirit isn't being clear. It's that it's not matching your expectations. And it could very well be that your expectations are because you want to protect yourself or somebody else, defend them, not let them get hurt. You may be the one trying to gloss things over for somebody because of the fact that you don't want to see them hurt. You don't want, you don't want this to affect their self-esteem or the way that they feel about themselves. So it's almost like you know you or you know the it's the mentality of knowing the bad news but not wanting to share it with other people or a, a specific person in general because you know how much it would hurt them or frighten them or that there is news that is currently being hidden from you because everybody concerned knows how much something means to you 
and they sort of want to hide back the truth. They want to they want to hold it back from you. I do feel like this is not a malicious energy. Once again, I feel like this is a protective energy. So it feels like this is something that matters a lot to you. And people don't quite want to let you know that things maybe are just not as good as they seem. They may not be bad, but there may be more bad news than you think there is. Um, let me see. A card just flipped out. A lot of your cards are flipping in reverse. So I do believe it's almost like... The mentality, the energy is you have it backwards. Maybe you got something wrong or this week. Maybe maybe you're doing something wrong, but people see how good you are and enthusiastic you are about it, and they don't have the heart to tell you because they really do care about you. This does this is coming across as learn from the past. Um, so this has to do with something coming up from the past. We are still in Mercury retrograde, so that's going to happen. But there's this energy of something coming back from the past. It could be anything, Sagittarius, from something insidious to something sort of not benign, but pretty, pretty tame. Either way, this is a situation or a condition that you're already aware of to some capacity, but you might have thought that it was over. And it doesn't seem like every, every, the lesson that you needed to learn from it is not over. So it does seem like something or somebody is coming back from the past. Something that, that you, um, something or somebody, I, I almost feel like you were happy that this was over. Like you thought this was behind you. And maybe it's just repeating on you. Yeah, kind of like acid free reflux. That's 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 the kind of repeat I mean when I say repeat. Uh, sometimes life stings. Yeah, this is going to be disappointing news. Um, it could have to do with something coming over the internet or something revealing itself to you over the internet. It may not even be intentional. It may be you Googling or searching something and all of a sudden information pops up, but somebody had misinformed you. The information doesn't jive with what you thought was true based on what something somebody else told you. And so you kind of make an inquiry into, oh, well then maybe they're not right. Maybe they, maybe they didn't know what they were doing or maybe they didn't know what they were talking about. They did know what they were talking about. I think that you were intentionally deceived to kind of save you or buffer, protect you somehow. This also could just be the pangs of disappointment when you actually find out. So, Sagittarius, this could be about a relationship that you thought was going to take off and do really, really well. And it's not. It's not going anywhere. It's in. It, there's incompatibility. Let's put it that way. Um, there's no room for growth. There's no opportunity. This could be a job that you thought you were going to get, a promotion you thought you were going to get. You are all in, ready to and prepared to just leap in to this circumstance. And in other words, Sagittarius, it's something that you want to believe. Hashtag I want to believe. You're doing it. You're pulling. You're pulling a, a molder. That's what you're pulling. I want to believe, but this information that's coming to me is making it impossible. In fact, it's sort of dashing my hopes and dreams. Oh boy, Sagittarius. So listen, this is a week. And what is in a week? A week is seven days. You can get through this. Like I said, to some degree, you already know this. You're already in the discussion phase on this topic could be waiting for test results and you thought you did really well on the test. You know what I'm saying? You're like, yeah, I got a 1600 on my SATs and it comes back, you got a thousand. It's not a bad score, but it's not going to get you into the college that you want. And what it means is you're going to have to go back again and relearn what you thought you already knew. There is a sense and partially this sense of, uh, yeah, this and that are true. You're stuck in the in-between. You're stuck in a middle point where you're not, things aren't necessarily horrible, but they're not the way that you want them to be. Well, spirit has a plan. And I think that that's part of, do you see? Co-create with spirit is upside down. In other words, there's a push. Spirit has a plan, but you're, what, you're, what you want is clashing against what spirit has the plan for. And I think to some degree, on some level, Sagittarius, you know this. You, you can feel you can feel the outcome in the air, but you're shoving it down and pushing it away because you really don't want those results. You don't. There's just something about this situation that you don't want to know. Let spirit be your guide. 
all of these cards, spirit has a plan is upright. So that is very, very clear that spirit has a plan, but you are not happy with it. And in fact, I think there is an intentional attempt to go against spirit's plan and push against it and fight against it. This idea that you could actually change things if you really, really tried hard enough. And let me tell you something, you cannot. With this particular topic, subject, however hard you try, whatever work you put in, like if it's just about passing a test, you could go back. This is what it would take. You have to go back and undo a lot that's already been done. You have to relearn a lot. I don't think that you really want to go back and change everything that needs to be changed in order to get better results. It's almost like you wanted this to be easier than it, than it is turning out to be. Whatever this is, you wanted, you wanted this to be, um, you wanted to feel better about this than you do. Maybe you bit off more than you could chew. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something that's important to you, but now you're starting to feel stuck and bogged down by the immensity of the responsibility that you, in all fairness, probably couldn't predict or didn't, didn't know like what, what it would entail, but it, now it's starting to come clean for you. It's starting to come obvious to you and you're not very happy with where you are. Um, you're not very happy with the realities of what you've chosen or maybe not even what you've chosen of the situation that you're in. Um, and I don't see you ready yet this week to admit that you want to get out. I still feel this week with all your intention, you have, you have, you are determined to make this situation work. You want to be right about your decision. You want to be right about the outcome. There is a disconnect and a discord that is underlying all of what you want that is letting you know this was not in spirit's plan. This is not the truth. That what you're trying to make happen is not based on the truth. It's based on, and don't take this as an insult, but like an egotistical projection of what you'd like the world to look like. But that's not what the world looks like. And that's not what's really going on. You don't really feel that way. You're not as psyched about this as you want to be. Maybe you're helping somebody that you love and you bit off more than you could chew. You know what I'm saying? You, you took on more responsibility than you actually wanted. Ideally, you want that person to get good care and you want to be the perfect son, the perfect daughter, the perfect spouse. But realistically, you, you, you can't handle it. You're not happy with the circumstance. It doesn't mean you're not happy with the person. You could still very, very much love this person and want the best for them. You just bit off more than you could chew with being the vessel of what is best for them. It's, it's a little bit more responsibility than you're willing to, like right now this week, there's going to be this constant push. Listen, Jupiter is back in your sign. It is speaking very loudly and very clearly, and it is going to be very, very easy for you to know what really makes you happy. There seems to be this obligatory push against what really makes you happy for what, this week, for whatever reason. Could be because maybe you think, oh, I'm being selfish. This person needs me. Um, I have to be more understanding to their position. I have to be more sympathetic. Honestly, Sagittarius, you need to be honest. That's what you need. You need to be true to yourself and true to your nature and honest with this circumstance, this situation, or this person. That's what you need to be. You are not being dishonest for a malicious reason. You're not being dishonest to get money that the person did that you don't deserve or to cheat on somebody. You are being deceptive. You're not even intentionally deceiving somebody else. You're deceiving yourself and living in that self-deceived lie. And so ultimately you're living in a lie, but it's not a malicious slight against another person. It's one against you. You really did want to make this work. You really did want this to work. You really did want the ideal to play out because you can be very idealistic, but it's not playing out. And the reality of that is this is too much work for me. I can't be this person's full-time caregiver, or maybe, 
maybe your ideal was that after I have this baby, this is, this is just, these are just examples. After I have this baby, I'm not, I'm not going to go back to work. I'm going to stay home and be a full-time parent because that's my ideal. Like in my head, ideally, that's what I wanted. But now it's been three weeks, four weeks in with your newborn and you're exhausted to the point of wanting to rip your own hair out and you're realizing and more and more and more your job and work is looking really enticing because you'll actually get to be around adults. You'll actually get some free time, free space and feel like yourself again. That's the kind of feeling that I'm talking about this week. Like, of course you love your baby. That's not in question. Of course you're a good parent. That's not in question. But maybe you need to chew on the realities of your ideal versus what is truly good for you. Because, you know, if you leave this, the baby with the grandmother, if you go back to work, if you decide to go back to your job, you know, it, his grandma will watch him. He'll be fine. He'll be healthy. He'll be happy. He'll be loved. And so it doesn't match that ideal of no, for the next two years, I'm going to be earth mother and breastfeed my child to their two and a half and do all the things it says in the books. You know, like that's sort of like your souped up version of what ideally you wanted, like almost like your, you know, you, you want to like go against everything that is in your true nature, which is to be competent, confident, independent, and, and living in, living in the future, like moving on to the next. You, you have this idyllic version in your mind and it's just not, it's, it's really wearing you thin and it's not wearing you thin on how much you love somebody, but it is wearing you thin on your last nerves, your patience, etc., etc., etc. So I'm going to flip the camera around really quickly. So just to review the full spread with you, hold on. All right, Sagittarius. So this is that Sagittarian energy. It's just basically telling me, Please watch out for your ideals this week. With Jupiter coming back into your sign, you're going to feel like anything is possible, but there might be a little bit of you overstepping your bounds. Be honest with yourself, please, because the truth is there if you want to listen to it. This is the only upright. Spirit has a plan. So spirit knows exactly what it wants. In other words, truth is very obvious to you. It's very clear right? But, but you're not going with it. Let spirit be your guide. Nope. Co-create with spirit. Nope. You want to go out and be rogue and do things your way and basically be stubborn and maybe repeat the same mistakes because you didn't learn from your past. This maybe was something that you did before wanting to push the envelope or, you know, putting all your eggs into this idyllic basket and then them all crashing down because there was a big hole in it. And if you had just listened to spirit, you would have known there was a big hole in the basket. There's a hole in your bucket, dear Saggy, dear Saggy. There's a hole in your bucket, dear Saggy, a hole. Please know that that hole is there. Like be realistic. You may have to get a new bucket, right? Or if you really love your bucket, you may have to take the time to, hey, it's like, hey, remember you tried to use this bucket before and it had a hole in it before. Why are you trying to use it again? Because you didn't pay attention to the lesson. You didn't learn. You didn't take time out to repair the hole so that you could use the bucket again. So there is a little bit of backtracking that you're going to have to do. And maybe that's what Mercury is, is, is teaching you. It's reviewing those things that are actually keeping you from living your true full happiness because you may have skipped details that were necessary to really get through this week or thrive this week. So Sagittarius, let's not be offended by taking a step back by getting the answer no this week. Let's, let's be prepared to feel like you are clashing with your own ideals. Let's be prepared for that. And the way that we're going to solve our issue is to just be honest with ourselves. Because I think, like I said, at some level, we already, you already know what you really, really want. Uh, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really want, really want. I know what you really want. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you <laughs> really, really, really want to stick a stick? Ah, <laughs> yeah, I just went there. I did. I went there. Girl, I'm a 90s kid. What, how am I going to? I can't. I'm not even going to apologize for myself. So Sagittarius, let's dig a little bit deeper into exactly what you're, what, what you're going through, but also how to handle this situation and sort of get that balance back. Get your zig-a-zig -zig back so that you can feel 
like you're not disappointing anybody, including yourself. I'm going to pull the full tarot spread. The link is below. Please look in the description box. And we're also going to do your romance reading for the week. I'll see you over there, Sag.